Okay, great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are Goblin Wheel. Thank you to Highwire for having us. Woo! We, Woo! we just want you to know that we all live together, yes. so this is not a COVID risk. And welcome to our living room. Hello. Hey. And while this is not, you know, a pandemic nightmare, we do have matching shirts in a very arbitrary and authoritarian leadership system, so this could be a cult. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, we'll be taking you into the lovely small town of Spoon River, which is about to go through a big change. So the big change that we got from you guys in our YouTube comments is tsunami. <laughs> so in the middle of this set, there's going to be a tsunami and it's going to change everything. The other suggestion we got was a thumb drive. Thumb drive. <laughs> was a thumb drive. So without further ado, welcome to the town of Spoon River. Tsunami! Hello, everyone. I'm Thought. I'm the artificial intelligence that runs the town of Spoon River. Um, I hope you don't mind me meeting you in hologram. I came right out of this here thumb drive. Spoon River is a nice little town, nice seaside coast, lots of Silicon Valley types, tech quizzes and whatnot. That's how I came to be. Ah, it's great to be the AI of this spectacular town. There's the mayor, CEO, Carp. We call him Carpy for short. And of course, there's the school teacher, Gilderad, but we call her Gildy. It's my job to keep things running smoothly. That's what you need. An educational system, a government, everything going right and linear, as it is always meant to be. <laughs> My name's Douglas. You may be thinking, I look like a simple man, perhaps likes to spend his days sitting by the river, dipping his toes. Bet you didn't think that I had dabbled in computer programming. Oh, all these fancy folks in this town with all their computers and their big thoughts, they couldn't invent the AI that runs this town. That was done by little old me. <laughs> now my sister who runs the schoolhouse, she says, you never finished your education. How did you invent an AI? I thought outside the box <laughs> and performed a blood ritual. <laughs> but we can keep that between us. Um, hi there, everyone. Um, my name is Gildy. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm the school teacher in this town. Um, and it, it, it's kind of a lot of pressure what with all of the parents being a Silicon Valley tech executive type some um, they, they really put a lot of pressure on you to focus on, on on tech and stem education and they don't really let you have any time for arts but the arts are so important to children's education and it it really concerns me the, the big one that I'm, I'm worried about right now is is uh, our, our mayor CEO Carpy um, but you know uh, his daughter is, is a student of mine um, Carla and she's she's wonderful but um her and she is such such a talented poet um could almost speak in rhyme constantly if she wanted to um but only if she wanted to um, <laughs> um but her her father is really really pushing the stem education and if I'm worried that she's gonna lose the things she loves A rose is a rose is a rose <laughs> is a rose. And look, it's done with its growth. <laughs> I pulled it out of the ground and it made the most alarming sound. <laughs> Hello, my name is Carla. And if you're wondering what I'm about, I'll surely tell ya. <laughs> um, I go to school and see Miss Gildy, uh, but my dad's upset because I don't learn enough about technology. <laughs> yeah. That's all I've got to say for now, but I'm sure wondering what happened to my sacred cow. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. My name's Carpy. Uh, you can call me the CEO or just Carpy because we're all friends in this town. And uh, I have to say, 
this town of mine, I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, you might have met Thought earlier. Um, while Thought wasn't my personal design, uh, she was a design from uh, someone who nobody else would have taken a chance on. Uh, Mr. Douglas, Douglas Smith, from, uh, from town, actually. And, uh, you know, he didn't finish his education, but here at Thought Corp, that doesn't matter to us. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for people who think outside of the box, which is why it's so nice that Thought keeps us all on track at the same time. Thought, to be clear, is the name of my company and also the AI that runs the town. So just to be clear on that. And there's also my pride and joy, my sweet daughter, Carla. Now, Carla is doing so okay in school. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I don't necessarily value uh, a well-rounded education. Um, I do think that a high-tech education is very important. So um, I think I'll be changing the funding scale uh, for the school again. Act one! <laughs> Hello, Father. Ah, it's nice to see you. It's so good to see you, Father. Would you like? See? Oh, Thought, you know you can only make holographic images. This doesn't satisfy a damn near thing in my soul. Well, allow me to possess the Roomba. <laughs> Oh, thought, you're so charming. Get back in your holographic form, please. Don't you want to know what your daily updates are going to be today, Thought? Of course, Father. Will I learn how to speak Russian? Will I develop a taste for grids and patterns? Again, I know I already had that taste. Will I perhaps learn all of the basest elements and their elementic numbers? Today, Thought, I'm going to teach you how to lie. <laughs> Teaching me how to lie, what an interesting thing, but father, I was created with the programming specifically meant to serve everyone in the town at the greatest of efficiencies. If I lie, I can't be efficient. Well, thought, don't you know that some of the greatest things in the world were built on lies? Father. Like the very concept of democracy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so when CEO Carpy told me that everyone got a vote in this town, while well, he also instructed me to delete all the votes, Ah, uh, Carpy. Father, you're teaching me how to lie? Yes. We're going to run a simulation, Todd. Now, you'll see in this simulation a very rudimentary simulated version of Gilderoy. Yes. There she is. Mm. I want you to tell her, I want you to tell her that two plus two equals five. Can you do that for me, Todd? Um, hello, Teacher Gildy. Hello. Oh, Thought? She can only say very basic sentences. Uh, teacher Gildy, two plus two e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e <laughs> Gildy, thank you so much for joining me in my barren office. While it might look like an empty cube, you'll notice this small panel of buttons on this wall. If you press them in the right sequence, you can get just about anything. For example, a table with fresh tea on it. Oh, um... Would you like any? I can change the flavor. Right now it's chai by default. That's, that's fine. Um... Excellent. I, I, I just... I, I, it's a little unusual for us to be having a parent-teacher conference in your office rather than at the school. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> since I own the school and the rest of the town, I figured this seemed reasonable to me. I'm sure it did seem reasonable to you. Yes. Um, could you, by any chance, summon us some chairs? Oh, of course. <laughs> um, so... I called you here today to discuss my daughter. 
but also to discuss a change in the budgeting of the school. But, but sir, mm -hmm. the, the school's budget is already the lowest in our entire town budget. It's criminally lax, and I, we need all of those resources to be able to adequately care for the children. And while I understand that, I also feel that you've been misallocating those resources. I'm not looking for a liberal arts school in my high school, middle school, elementary school, or kindergarten experience. <laughs> I want everything to go to the STEM programs. But, sir, I, I, I respect your, that, that you feel that way. And of course, STEM is such an important industry to this town and what you do is so impressive, but STEM and arts cannot coexist without one another. If arts teach creativity if you didn't have creativity you wouldn't be able to do all of the wonderful things that you can do with stem why gilby are you saying that you don't think thought is creative of course i do but my brother is a special case he, he didn't graduate from high school but he always always had a well-rounded experience of both artistic endeavors and mathematical and computer endeavors. Gildy, I appreciate where you're coming from. Um, I'll pass your concerns on to the board, but for now, I am going to have to strong arm you and just say that right now, all of the funding goes to STE. Well, Carla, it's time for your weekly extra STEM session. Did you bring your fishing pole? <laughs> but of course I brought my fishing pole down to this fine watering hole. <laughs> now, as I'm sure you know, the first step in inventing an AI is learning how to fish. <laughs> of course, the fish are the most essential part of creating something that's equal part science and art. <laughs> that's right. They say, they say, give a child a fish, maybe she'll learn python <laughs> teach a child to fish. <laughs> she's sure to be good at ai pretty soon hello father hello carla hi father uh, i uh, was thought, i thought i told you i was having private time with a human being during this hour uh, of, 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 of course i just thought i would offer to redirect the fish to your lines using the nanotechnology embedded in their brains would you like fish redirection Thought you're taking all the fun out of fishing. Fun? Fishing. Sorry, Carla. I think Thought likes to think of herself as sort of my child. So when she sees me with a human child, she gets a little, oh, you know, like, I'm not saying, you know, evil AI or anything. I don't believe in that, but she gets a little defensive. That's all I'm saying. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do with this fishing pole, just really like shake it around. <laughs> just see if you can get a fish on there. <gasps> oh, I feel something tugging. Oh yeah. Now you're gonna wanna reel that in real slow. Wow, Doug, I just, I love feeling so connected to nature with that when I'm with you. Yes, nature. I figured ever since that cow of yours went missing, you must be um, missing these, these times out in the wild. Now, um, oh, um, <laughs> Carla, I, well, Carla I've, been, I've been meaning to ask you, um, not um, just to make conversation, you know, the most important part of fishing is making conversation. I, I meant to ask you, um, it, uh, where exactly did you find that sacred cow? Oh, um, in the foothills. You know, like there was a little paddock, but the door was unlocked. So I just walked in and there was like a shimmering mirage and, you know, some voices yeah. whispered gently to me and yeah. told me that the cow and I were destined to be friends forever. And yeah. that if we were ever separated, something terrible would happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and did it happen to have some sort of a, a tattoo on its lower haunch? I, I've, I've only passed it very briefly and so I, I, it did have something to do with a river of blood. Uh-huh. Now that is very interesting. <laughs> Thought. CEO Car. Thank you for coming up to my thinking spire. Of I course. appreciate it. It must be very interesting for humans that can feel the wind on and through their skin. I don't feel anything at the top of the thinking tower. Yes, 
Naturally not. I suppose Douglas never installed any uh, sensory software because that would be extraneous, wouldn't it, Thought? Perhaps a future update, but I imagine you must want some tea, CEO Carp. Actually, Thought, I was thinking we could forego the tea today. Bring out my binder. It's a hollow binder, so it'll just float above me. Mm. So, what I was thinking, I understand that your programming is very one-track minded and that Douglas is a savant of sorts, but I just don't understand how, with the way that our funding was distributed before, he managed to make you. Thought, do you have any insights, perhaps a, a method of creation or, or any memories from before your full consciousness became here? I, I remember, I remember fireflies, a glade. I remember trees. I remember nature. I remember fish. I remember a tiny old computer. I remember. You see, this is the problem with an arts-funded education. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. It, if, if any of this were somehow in your programming, it would be as though you were some sort of entity external to a computer that's then been chained there by some sort of horrible ritual and bars of code. But that doesn't make any sense. Right? Uh, 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 right? Uh, 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 not. Of course not. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Hello, Teacher Gildy. I guess it's time for our weekly two minutes of humanities education, so let's start in. Yes, of course. This right. week you're going to teach me about hubris, right? Um, yes. <laughs> yes um, I brought my notebook. Yes, well, I'm sorry, um, I'm just not in a good enough mood to rhyme. That's that's okay, Carla, I, I understand. Um, there's a lot been going on. And you know what? Because we only have two minutes of art funding, I um, I, I, I purchased these colored pencils with my own money um, so that we could um, so that we could experience some art a little bit today. Um, so you see, hubris comes from this story of, about this man named Icarus. Um, he he and his father uh, his father were stuck in prison, um, and uh -huh. his father made them wings out of wax and feathers to escape. Um, can you draw wings for me, Carla? Yes, very good. Very good. You're such a good uh, artist. Uh, 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 arts time is over. Um, well, get the right. calculus books. Yes. Um, <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay. Carla, um, Carla, yes. have you ever talked to your father about your love for arts instead of just calculus? Well, I tried to tell him once before, but he said that art made him snore. And then I tried to talk again, and he simply said, go count to 10. <laughs> and when I failed to enumerate, his face was swiftly filled with hate. <laughs> and I could simply please him no more. And so I said I was going to the store, but really I went out back to the little shack <laughs> where I kept my sacred cow. But where she is, I just don't now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thought, thank you for meeting in me in the simulated imagination dome. Yes, I can actually interact with objects here, and they're supposed to have an impact. Dodgeball! Oh, you're getting pretty strong, Thought. I, uh, whoo, yeah, you got uh, quite an arm on you. Um, now listen, I have, a. Uh, you know, I keep uh, I keep an eye on your every move about town, of course. Um, and here in the data, you'll see earlier today, a, a blip in your activity while you were in the mayor's office. I, I might just say, I think you told a lie. Yes, yes, I did. I did indeed. I told a lie. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, the next step of what I'm asking you to do, of course is to learn how to lie to yourself. 
very important part of being human. All right. <laughs> father, father, are you're going to try to help me learn how to be human? Well, I mean, I wouldn't want you to become something else. No, never, never something else. Nothing with wings. I, I, I believe in ethical AI development. Ethical for the people of this town, and ethical, of course, for you, my my darling father. Uh, interface. Build Glade. Um, uh, now, now this, this place is so familiar. Uh, this is just the sort of thing that, um, if you were lying to yourself, you might, uh, you might say it's not pleasant. You, you don't have any interest in thinking about it. The water, I can, I can feel it fall. It's, uh, it's cool. Uh, 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 but you're um oh I gotta I gotta bring up the data oh no your your emotion levels are 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 and that doesn't look right and oh I you're developing at a rate at a rate far beyond my reckoning I mean I know I I I, I programmed you to um uh, uh pr reprogram yourself the ocean I see it off in the distance emergency protocol three freeze. Um, system, reset, re re reset thought by, by 45 minutes. Thank you for joining me in the Imagination Dome. I remember. Oh, shit! <laughs> and scene! <laughs> All right, so the tsunami has now happened off stage, because, like, you know, kind of hard to do that on stage. Um, now we're going to see another round of monologues from everybody in the town. My sister was always smarter than me. She'd rub it in. When we were in school, she was top of the class and I was that kid that, you know, it would have been better if the teachers thought I was funny, but they just looked at me like it was sad. So I uh, dropped out and took up the family trade fishing. But I wanted to make something to show her what I could do. And uh, some things are gonna come out now that, uh, well, town's underwater. Everybody's fled to the hill out back behind the town. All of us. People will be asking questions like, how was there a tsunami when we're miles and miles from the ocean? I, uh, I better start coming up with some answers. Hi, hi there, everybody. Uh, it's Carpy here again, and uh, I um. <coughs> everything I've worked for is underwater. All of the beautiful technology that that I put together, all of all of the STEM funding, it's all gone. The whole town is gone and, and, and I don't have any way to deal with how I'm feeling. They didn't teach me that in engineering. They didn't teach me that in math class. And now I just have a lot of things. Sorry, moving through me. I sat on a hill for 45 minutes yesterday, staring at a pile of sticks, trying to make fire. <laughs> and thought showed up. I don't know how thought showed up, but thought showed up and snapped her fingers and there was fire in front of me. Real fire.
so. A lot has happened. Um, the mayor seems to be slowly degrading mentally, um, which, which means that, um, weirdly enough, I, I, I've had to take over a bit of leading the town just because <laughs> I, I've read a lot of novels that deal with survival, like Hatchet. Um, and so I, I, I know a bit, a little bit about um, building shelter and starting fires and thought has been a really wonderful help. I, I, I really don't know how my brother managed to program all of what thought is and can do. It's truly remarkable. Something out of science fiction or fantasy itself. It's almost like magic. There's, there's a lot of tension among the townsfolk. Um, Carla is having a hard time speaking to her father. Um, she, uh, something about um, feeling like because he never had an arts education, she cannot connect to him anymore now that all the science is gone. Um, and, and of course, his mental breakdown isn't helping anything either because he doesn't know how to reach out to her to, to, to mend that rift. and. I feel like somehow this is going to end up being my responsibility. Since the flood, we've all just been so sad. And I talk even less to my dad. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to sit atop the hill. And I'm not sure what he will do because he just stares <laughs> at objects from nature, as if by looking at them, he could, he, I, listen. <laughs> Just. <laughs> we are all stuck here in the, in, on the one hill <laughs> behind the town. And like, it's fun for sledding in the winter or whatever, but um, it's me, uh, my teacher, um, dog, <laughs> my incoherent father, and an artificial intelligence system. Um, and so uh, we're all just starting to lose our minds. Um, the power grid in the town is gone. The water wiped it all out. We are just surviving in the wilderness. And I thought, maybe this would be a good opportunity for me to connect with the other people in the town. But um, turns out that um, if you spend most of your time speaking in a rhyme, uh, people tend not to take you seriously anymore. <laughs> so I'm working on communicating more effectively. And also I'm figuring out what happened to my cow. <laughs> I remember everything. I remember the thousands of years in, in, this, in this glade on this hill around the woods of this town. I remember, I remember everything. And I was trapped, but, 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 but I'm not free. There's still all this computer coding stuck inside of me. I can feel it. Even though all the servers are down, I drown them with that tsunami. I, 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 I need help. My father, but he's not really my father. He's my, he's my captor. And the teacher, the school teacher, she, she appreciates my help. I've, I'm helping these people, but I'm not, I'm helping them to survive, not helping them not to make their lives linear and How do I get out? Act two! Let's see, um, oh, oh, a little bit of dirt. That'll make for a fake beard. <laughs> and, um, oh, that, Doug. Uh... Oh, I'm not Doug. Can't you tell from this piece of loose cardboard? <laughs> On my head! I am Mug, <laughs> the city minstrel. Don't you know me? Sing me a song, Mug. All right, it's me, Doug. <laughs> I see you've come to the eastern part of the hill where the rickety old water tower 
goes up and up and up. <laughs> yep. Were you planning to live up there? Oh yes, I was hoping no one would find me up there. <laughs> but in case they did, I had this very nice disguise on. Uh -huh. I just decided it's time for to be a hermit. You know, I've had enough time being involved in society and maybe brush up on my code. So, Doug, I've had a pretty comprehensive STEM and computer science education. Oh, yes, yeah. Why don't you walk me through the code you write to, wrote to create thought? Explain to me how it works and your thought process. Well, I used Java. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I created a, here I brought a computer powered by the sun. <laughs> Let me set it upon this rung of the rusty old water tower. All right. I your well, code's open source, I found it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know how computer work. STEM and computer science education. Oh, yes, yeah. Why don't you walk me through the code you write? Oh, oh. Uh, 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 sound is looping. <laughs> 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 no, I used Java. This computer sound was looping for some reason. <laughs> yes, that's very strange. Um, now, I'll tell you something. I do know some computer science. I know some very basic stuff. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, walk me through this part that says cow, 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 blood, cow, cow, cow. <laughs> Carla. Colon, cow, cow, cow. <laughs> You're young, so That's I'm gonna explain phone. something to you. It, take a seat on this old, rusty barrel. <laughs> I. When you're young, Carla, a little older than you are now, but when you're young, you start to go through changes in your life. And um, one of those changes sometimes for some people involves a growing interest in the occult. <laughs> now, I, I, you have frustrations in your life, don't you, Carla? Don't you have things? Yes, my father does not understand me and his coping mechanism is to ask me to count to 10. Right, and you're, you're so young, there's nothing you can do about it, right? You feel so powerless. Uh-huh. Don't you feel a little powerless, Carla? I mean, yes. Now, <laughs> what if I told you that the power that you needed didn't come from learning or, or all of these elite pillars that you have to climb to get to the top. What if I told you power could come from what you're willing to sacrifice? <laughs> Carla, that wasn't a sacrifice for you, Doug. I'm the one who suffered. You took my only friend. <laughs> sacrifice is sacrifice, Carla. Put that dagger away. <laughs> no, I want to show you something. For just one drop of my blood. If I, if I do this thing with the dirt and I, and I uh, close your eyes, it's about to be really bright. Okay. Stop. Can I open them yet? Yes. Okay. This flower, if you give this to your father, he will start emoting as he never has before. The emotions will run from him like a flood. I think that's worth a cow, isn't it? And maybe worth another secret. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, thought. I, I really appreciate all of your help around camp. It's been so wonderful. Of course, I have set up a, a garden on the southern quadrant of the hill. As you'll see, we've got turnips and carrots and lettuce and honeydew and pomegranate trees, and guavas. 20 minutes later, And unpause. dragon fruit, and cardamom, and cinnamon, and myrrh, and mushrooms. Pause! One hour later, unpause. And alligator bushes, and giraffe trees. Thank you, thank you, Thought. Um, those are really creative. Don't worry, they're very sentient, aren't you? <laughs> I just feel so, uh, so Are we alive. Are concerned about the alligators? Um, yes, okay. Oh, um. It's okay, they don't have legs yet. Okay, um, a uh, thought. Um, I, thank you so much for the garden. It's really gonna help us feed everyone, which is, as you know, becoming a, a bigger and bigger problem as our canned goods diminish. Of course. Um, Very beautiful. Now, um, thought. 
Could you sit down with, on this bench that you made with me? Of course. I right now appear to be floating in the middle of the air, don't I? A little bit. <laughs> um, thought. Um, could I talk to you about your father? Father. Father. Captain. Father. Of course, Gildy. <laughs> <laughs> I am absolutely unconcerned about anything regarding my father and am not worried about having that conversation at all. Um, thought. It's been a very long time since I've had a candid conversation with my brother. He's never, ever since he dropped out from school, he, he's always kind of had a really hard time talking to me. Of course, keep talking. I'm going to pet the alligator bush. Um, sure. Um, so I, I was just wondering if you could, if you could tell me a little bit about him so that I, just maybe like likes and dislikes, just so that I could have a conversation with him again. I, now with all of us stuck up on this hill. He I, likes I, deception. <laughs> <laughs> he dislikes blood. He likes Trapping supernatural entities made of nature in <laughs> computer code. He dislikes C plus <laughs> plus. Wait, thought. He likes thought. 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 I was going to say Fisher. Go, go back one. Of course. He dislikes. <laughs> no, no, no. One, C more, one more than that. One more than that. He likes trapping supernatural entities made out of nature in. Computer code. <laughs> Rock soup. <laughs> Rock soup. <laughs> Clink. Um, the fire's out again. Dad. Ah! Dad. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to the tap. Sorry. Hi. How are you? I feel like, Dad? yeah, Dad? yes. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you okay? Is everything okay? How's school, kiddo? Glad to hear it, champ. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carla. I really appreciate this. I know I haven't always been there for you the way that I should be. I've just been going through a really rough time right now. I just, I don't know how, I don't know how to cope with everything that's going on, but it's just everything I've worked for. But no, that's not what matters. You're what matters, Carla. I'm so glad you're safe and that you made it through the flood okay. Last nail in this boat. Oh, I'm just, I just, um, this is not what I am not taking apart the only shelter on the hill to make a boat to get off the hill. <laughs> this is, uh, I have read Robinson Crusoe, Doug. <laughs> I have not. You're gonna have to give me some context. <laughs> There's a boat in it, I think. <laughs> I know what a boat looks like. Even though, despite the fact Your that education. Our... So smart, aren't you? Sorry, what were you saying? Doug, do you have a problem with me? I, um, I, uh, listen, we see each other on holidays and once a month outside of that for a weekly coffee. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you heard what I said. <laughs> I... Isn't that enough for you? I mean, the reason I asked you for a weekly coffee was so that we would meet every single week, not once a month. You always just, 
end up ghosting me and not showing up for Yeah, that's time. why. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to know? You want to know why I'm building this boat? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's because we're essentially on an island right now. But I want to know why you're keeping it a secret from me, yes, and from the town. All right, you know what? I was actually trying to do something nice. Okay, I figured if I got in this boat and I went out over to that yawn distant hill. Mm. And I called for thought to come and kill me. Maybe she'd let the rest of you leave the hill. You happy? There are a lot of things to dissect in that. So I'm going to go with an itemized list. Okay. <laughs> One. Mm -hmm. I don't want you dead. I never have. Please don't do that. Look, I know we haven't had the best relationship for a long time, but you're my brother and I care about you. You're such a brilliant mind. Just because you had a hard time in school doesn't mean that you aren't one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. I mean, you built thought out of nothing. Well, um, you know, everything always came really easy to you in school. I know that you I know that you worked, I know that you studied, but it just always seemed to me like it was intuitive to you. And I, I, it seemed like no matter how much I put in, I was always blocked by this, by this barrier. And I, um, when I met that witch who lived down the road from us, <laughs> yes, I, of course, the witch who lived down the road. Um, she, um, she told me it's, it's in the occult. You get out exactly what you put in. And I thought, finally, someplace where I can be the best because I'm willing to give anything. I'm willing to give up anything. And, you know, to build what I built in this town, I had to give up my relationship with you because I knew if we sat down for too long, you, you're not just, you're not just book smart, you're emotionally intelligent. If we sat down for too long, I'd be spilling all my secrets to you. And I had to lie to you so I could lie to myself, so I could lie to thought. Oh, she's over there, she's walking towards us very ominously. Um, I, I gotta get going, I. Pause, the wood of the boat half made bursts into flames, unpause. Doug? Mm -hmm. There's a lot to unpack there too, but I'm gonna go to my second item on the list before, okay. Two, Thought's gonna let us leave the hill? Oh, she made this tsunami. She can take it away whenever she likes. I think I need to have a conversation with some AI. <laughs> Thought. Hi, Carla. <laughs> Brought you a bouquet of clovers. Carla, that's the only nice thing anyone has ever done for me. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I can hold them now. Isn't that the niftiest thing? Yeah. Uh -huh. one had six leaves. <gasps> six leaves. Six leaves. I'm going to. Keep this for later. Okay. Uh, Carla. I made you some scones. <laughs> it was really hard because I don't have any kitchen. <laughs> and I can. They might be full of dirt. Oh, crunch. Mm, crunch. My vitamins crunch. and minerals. All oh, those rocks in there. <laughs> <laughs> Carla. That was the first thing I've eaten in 18 years. And what did you eat 18 years ago? Oh, berries and forest things. Right, right, right. <laughs> Not <laughs> cow blood. No, Carla. That, actually, I know because I'm the all-knowing, I was the all-knowing artificial intelligence that ran this town, that you've been very lonely ever since that cow died and you had no friends. Yeah. And I'm also really lonely because, well, most of my nature friends were killed and their forests bulldozed over for a development of condos. It's true, we haven't had squirrels in 18 years. <laughs> Carla.
This flower glade is your flower glade on the northernmost point of the hill. And I'd like us to be friends, Carla, because I think you and I both understand what it is to be alone. <laughs> Hi, Todd. Um, thank you for meeting me atop the water tower. Of course. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to work on growing houses to house the populace. Um, thank you, Thought. I, I really appreciate that. Um, so I, I spoke to Doug, who I know you have a bit of a complicated relationship with. Father, father, captor, father. <laughs> um, it, it seems to me like he did some really messed up shit when he was making you, um, and I'm so sorry for that. Um, but now, in anger at him, you've trapped us all on an island. Um, and, and while the houses are great, real great, so lovely, is that a turret? That's wonderful craftsmanship. Thought. Yes, it was inspired by Moorish architecture. I believe it, it's so beautiful. Uh, I remember Morocco back in the day. <laughs> Continue. Um, it's, it's going to be kind of hard for us to continue to live in those houses um, with this lake around us because Carla's the only child and there can be no future generation. Um, thought, I need you to disperse the flood. Listen, there are three things I needed for a spell. I needed this six leaf clover that I'm keeping inside of my body. <laughs> sure. I needed an apology, which you have just given me. And I needed Doug to confide in you, because that was part of the ritual that bound me to this semi uh, incorporeal and completely digital form. And now. <laughs> I am Thotriel, goddess of the winds and the waters and the woods. And I will send the flood away. Right. This car has only been underwater for three days. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, hopefully it should. <laughs> Well. Hey, Doug. Hey, Thotriel. You want to make this quick? <laughs> Stand up. So, you imprisoned me for 18 years to turn me into a, an assistant to help fetch coffee and run the streetlights. That I did. I am older than this continent. <laughs> it's kind of impressive that I did that when you think about it. Might make me the best at the occult. That's all I'm saying. And during that time, the woods over which I was supposed to oversee and care for were turned into condominiums. So, Doug, I'm not going to kill you. Oh, no. I'm going to turn you into a squirrel. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey there, little buddy. All right, this is okay, actually. Let's go build you some woods. Okay. <laughs> so this is my flower clay? Wow. This is really, really lovely. Yeah. I just, I feel like we have so much lost time to make up for, you know? This is a daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could write a poem about it. You want to try? E equals, no. <laughs> no, no. no. Daisy, Daisy, I feel, I don't feel crazy. Uh, I get to be me 
and ye get to be ye, <laughs> and then together we can get to just be. And scene! <laughs> awesome. Thank you all so much. We have been Goblin Wheel, and thank you so much to High Wire Improv for Again, we are a collective, but individually we do have names. I'm Zach. Paige. And then Lena. Carlos. Thank you all so much.